what's going on guys in today's video as y'all see from the title and the thumbnail dr disrespect is innocent i come to this conclusion based off some evidence that i just seen an hour ago from jake lucky i'm going to put a tweet on the screen along with the pictures that go with it along with another picture um the former twitch employee who accused dr disrespect is now being caught off for promoting his shows in 2023 by saying he tell the audience why he was banned with a picture of listen if all three dates sell out, I'll tell you why he got banned. That is so like, <clears throat> that is so corny. That that is so. It's making me seem like what he said yesterday was strictly straight for clout and for clicks and for views. The next tweet is, gamer friends, if you're on the East Coast, you should come to one of these shows at Slasher. It's coming to New York date. Uh, I don't want to read all that. The next tweet, if you like. My niece of insights and esports creations. Boom, boom, boom. Basically, basically, come to my show. I'll tell you everything. Basically, like if you come to the show or purchase this or sell out the show, um, I'll tell you his business. Basically, trying to get money and clicks and views. The next tweet I see was the dude that I put in my last video of Rod Breslu, who also said something a few years back. He commented underneath the tweet, "Oh yeah, I'm about to sell the show out myself then." If this is true, and all this is just for clicks, views, and money, y'all are some fucked up individuals. That's very messed up. Because it's like you're playing with somebody's career and future. And I don't think we'll ever find out. I don't think we'll ever, ever know the reason on why Dr. Disrespect got banned. I, I want to know the severity of the situation on why he got banned out of nowhere and no one said, and no one's saying anything. Because it's kind of weird. Like, I'm more so on the side that he's innocent now. Because, like, why would you, like, why would you hold information? Like, why would you have, like, a, a a price on the information that you're holding if it's that fucked up? If the nigga is a child predator, expose it. Don't say, oh, buy these tickets and I'll tell y'all. Like, now you look like a dummy. Now I don't believe anything that comes out your mouth. But also, on, this, on the other end, it's like, Doctor disrespect. If you didn't do it, just say you didn't do it. Like, I don't know how legal battles actually work. Like I said in my last video, I don't know if he's not allowed to say it, but I'm pretty sure he can say I didn't do it without giving away too much information. I'm pretty sure, like, if if, if it was me, I didn't do it. That's it. Like, that's not true, and that's that, that's that's that'll that'll be my tweet. But like I said, the, the tweets that Doctor Disrespect posted the other day, it made him seem kind of like guilty. Like, it's like he acknowledged he did it. But he didn't want to acknowledge he did it. But now that I'm seeing this information, yeah, that boy, he's innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. It's quite sad that people people go to this length for views, money, and, and like clicks or whatnot. Like people will go to the extent to ruin your life or make you look like a terrible person in the world so they can benefit off of it. And it's quite sad. And I feel really bad. But that's all for today's video. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And peace out.